Welcome to Open Education Week worldwide. This is going to be our final class of uh, this round, but we're not going to end here. We're going to continue with other classes uh, throughout the year. So far, 300 people have joined, which is very um, encouraging since it's been less than a week. So uh, invite your friends. The more uh, people join Open Education, the more we will be able to contribute to one another's learning and, of course, to our students. So you're invited to join. This is the course on WizIQ, and today's session is right here. So if you want to uh, join, the link is on WizIQ. It's right here, so you just need to copy it and invite your friends. You may also invite them through your social networks, such as LinkedIn, Twitter, and um, here it is, Google+. All right, so a little bit about uh, the week. So far, we've uh, had two live online classes. The last one included a talk by a professor from a university in Colombia, and it's right here. I'm going to be changing this very soon, but you can access it on YouTube. I also added it to the courseware, and let me just show you how it works. Here is the course feed that you will see when you uh, join the course for Open Education Worldwide. You will get content in what's called courseware. The course provider is Dr. Nelly Deutsch. The course learners, you'll be able to get them from clicking here and about, of course, about the course. In addition, I've created a collaborative Google document called Open Education Resources. The link is also available in the courseware, so you're invited to add to it. Uh, there's the, uh, okay, the table of contents for it here you can add your emails and of course not only your emails your back your name background skills the OER that um, you're associated with and purpose and I think this is really important since we'll be able to connect and create open education resources together because that's what it's all about it's about creating sharing reusing remixing Open Education Resources, uh, we've started adding them. There's so many of them, but feel free to add them as you go. In addition, the third part is creating the OERs, of course. These are available ones, and these are the ones that we'll be creating. You may add your name. Notice your name of authors. Right now, it's only me, but if you're interested in creating a web quest with me on how to use Moodle. You don't have to be a Moodle expert. <laughs> you may just join me in creating it, and that's what it's all about. Just add your name, your interest, the title of your OER. This can, of course, change, and the description, what you'd like to do. Everything can be edited since it's on um, Google Drive. Okay, for those of you who are not familiar, this is a document that is shared publicly. You can see public on the web. Anyone on the internet can find and access it. You don't need to sign in. We may want to change that. Let me know if you're interested in changing that so we can make it... Okay, change it so we can make it anyone with the link who has the link and access, no sign-in required, or if you would like to make it private, only people. But of course, since this is open, the idea is to keep things open and get educators from around the world and administrators as well as students to join us in this endeavor. Okay, so we're going to be adding to the open education resources where you can find them. We mentioned some of them. We'll add them as we go. Of course, Wiki Educate will be added. If you're interested in, and you're not sure how to use uh, Google Drive, it's pretty intuitive if you want to add to the table. You'd simply insert a table below. You can also insert it anywhere else. So let me insert a few of those so that uh, we can continue. It's a collaborative learning environment. So you may um, change anything you wish on 
the Google Drive document. In addition, okay, I'm just adding to it, uh, insert row below. In addition, you're invited to um, go through the history of this document. Okay, you can go through a revision history and see who has added and when. You can also revert back and forth. Okay, this is a way to check who's been working on the revision. Notice there are lots of features here. You go into file, you'll find out what they are. You can also download this as uh, the following document. You may edit. Okay, and you can see how here, different ways of editing. You may view it. In different formats you may insert the following the format these are the tools that are available right now on the Google document Google is uh, forever advancing and progressing and changing making things uh, a little bit better you can add a new table and of course here's the help you may add this to your folder on your system okay and that's it so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this page develops, as I'm sure you are too. In addition, we've also created a document for today for the live online session. So far, only one person has added, or maybe more have added, but there's only one slide. You're invited to add more slides. You go into New Slide, okay, Insert, New Slide. You can also add comments, tables, and so on. So you're invited to do that uh, before the session, which will take place in about five or six maybe more I don't know eight hours or so so you've got enough time to work on it so you're invited to do that and I want to thank you thank you for uh, making open education week uh, so special and I'm looking forward to um, seeing how we can collaborate and work together on this so feel free to add to the course feed okay just post your comments you can start discussions and so on. So thank you. This was Nellie Deutsch and um, I'm sharing Open Education Week with all of you. Thank you.